Hi, I'm Jenny. Welcome to Bear Cub Scrap Room. This is my daughter, Gabby. Hi. Hi. Tonight is our first night that we're going to debut, anyways, a uh, project that we're working on as a mother-daughter type thing. Um, so, anyways, hope you enjoy this. Um, my daughter and I were walking around Michael's the other night and found something like this little ghost here. It's made of cheesecloth and this stiffy, stiff glue stuff. Anyway, so we wanted to demonstrate to you tonight how to make it. Um, the things that you'll need for this project are cheesecloth, which is found in a package. It costs about $2.50. Um, this stiffy stick bottle, it's a 16 fluid ounce bottle. It's about 6 bucks, but you can use your coupon at Michael's for it, Joann's, any of those. Um, a white trash bag type thing. And then a bucket from Michael's, a beach bucket. It costs about a buck. So this project uh, is really relatively pretty cheap. Um, and then the other thing that we have in here is to dip the cheesecloth into the stiffy stuff. It's just a plain, like, little cheap Tupperware type container. Um, anyways, and then a little couple pieces of scrap felt for the eyes and the mouth. If you don't have any stiffy stuff, you could pour Elmer's um, glue into a plastic cup. And you take about a cup of water. Stir it up. Get a pencil. While Gabby's mixing that up, I'm going to open up the cheesecloth to show you it. Um, these are usually found in the Michaels department um, where the glue sticks and um, wet glues and stuff like that are at. Anyways, it just kind of unrolls like this. And then it opens up even further. You get two square yards in each package. So I would recommend maybe two for a ghost this size. Cut it in half. Yeah, you got to cut it in half and put it in the bowl. And once it's soaked, you want to keep it soaked and not squeeze it out so that all it's back into the bowl. You want to kind of keep it wet. Go ahead. Because it will absorb it. And then once it's on the balloon and the bucket upside down, you're going to kind of want to play around with it a little bit. So we just had these kind of little plastic containers to give it the arms some form. It will take overnight to dry. So while your kids are at school and whatever, and they come home and they've got a great surprise for after school to tear it all apart, which we'll show you in the next video. So you want to kind of like have a ball of it. And while she's taping that up there a little bit to hold the balloon on, I'm going to unravel it. So when she got to come home today after school, um, I asked her to go get her ghost. And... Um, she got to undo un it all from the bucket and then pop the balloon, um, which was fun for her. So anyway, so on a rainy day or just some activity after they finished their homework or something, it's a great project. You ready again? Okay, so we're going to open it up. And you got to get it all opened up here. See, it kind of opens up, so don't let it fool you. But it was a blast to play with last night. So you kind of want to drape the first one down, and you do want to have it so that when it's sitting on the bag, it kind of sways out because that's what holds the structure up later. So you won't need any kind of like stands or anything like that. It'll just kind of stand up on its own. 
But what Gabby's doing is trying to get the arms so that they droop out as they are in this one here. Ready for the next layer? Oh. See how it kind of gives that droop? And then the skirt on it is going to be flared out a little bit because this is what, like, again, it'll help flare it to stand on its own later. Push the tape down. And then you kind of want to just like flare this one up as well. So any kind of like taller box, paper towel tubes, anything like that will help support it. And you want to kind of like play with it for a minute, but usually it takes about four hands to do this. And I had to just slide it there so that the arm will be swayed out a little bit. You'll have to kind of like work around on the an area that will allow the arms to be stretched out. Gabby, can you do that? I'm going to work on the back. Okay, let's go to the next layer. But you see, a little bit of teamwork on it, and it comes out. Let's do it on the corner like this, so we have more arm. So we did one in the in the vertical position, and then the other one, the second piece out of that first package, we just kind of tilted on a diagonal of it, so that we got a little bit more fill in here, to to be able to just drape it, and so that the arms can work out a little bit. So that's what we would recommend. Um, it's not a guaranteed thing. It's just kind of like what you like. Um, but it was a fun project. Where are you going to put this? All right. So anyway, so this is pretty much the project. Um, it just takes a little bit of adjustment from there to get it from there to over to get to this so this was this was um, 24 hours now from yesterday that we've gotten to this point but it is pretty much dry um, so we're gonna have like a little married couple of it but anyway so well I hope you enjoyed this um, please stay tuned to our little blog here and we hope to see you soon bye